Hello and welcome to Smart Plant Construction. Uh, this particular movie is to demonstrate how Smart Plant Construction can be used from a construction management perspective. Uh, if you've seen Smart Plant Construction, you know that it has uh, very sophisticated tools for creating, maintaining, uh, tracking, and progressing work packages. Uh, and this may be in a direct hire uh, type of setup, but it may most of the time will be in a, a contractor management uh, type of an, uh, strategy. So uh, if you use the administrative functions of Smart Plant Construction to import your project data, you're able to, uh, through this interface, to not only uh, import the major construction work packages uh, that will be applicable for the project, but also to associate those particular uh, construction work packages to the contracts uh, that are set up to, to execute that work from a multidiscipline point of view, and also to map that to your contractors uh, in order to uh, assign that work, to be able to track that work, uh, uh, based from a con construction management perspective. So Smart Plant Construction allows you to load in that association between your construction work packages to your contracts and associated uh, contractors uh, that those are assigned to. Uh, there's other configuration options that you can load in to allow you to load in your associativity between uh, your data and the commissioning systems uh, that they belong to also. So let's take a look at how that manifests itself uh, in the work package browser itself. So when you create a, a new work package, uh, and we'll just call this uh, install a particular uh, uh, piping isometric 175. And, and I can have a particular status of that to send it to an approval status uh, by the construction management company itself. But when you assign this particular installation work package to a construction work package, let's say to this particular uh, WBSI item from your Primavera schedule through the project configuration file, you can uh, perform uh, the mapping back to the EWP, the engineering work package it was derived from, the actual contract uh, it's assigned to above multiple contracts and the actual contractor this gets assigned to and of course uh, piping discipline uh, and the design area itself is also captured so through that project configuration file you can implement your construction management strategy and have that realized uh, when you're actually creating your packages uh, in the system now once you've created packages and you've populated those packages and you begin to track progress against those packages uh, we'll take a look at, a, at, a, at an actual package that's already been created uh, that's got schedule information associated with it, the content in terms of drawings are, are actually been added, but more importantly, the individual components uh, that are within the package are, are tracked from an overall progress point of view. So you can go in and claim that progress against the different commodities, whether the spools or valves or equipment or whatever it may be. And you can see here that you can claim that progress uh, and you can see that you've got a certain amount of planned man hours, a certain amount of completed man hours, and a certain amount of actual man hours that will be uh, uh, captured once the work is complete. Well, this is rolled up from a progressing point of view on a contractor by contractor basis. So at any time, you can go to your dashboard and have visibility uh, in terms of your contractor work and to be able to run reports on that so you know uh, what each contractor is assigned, uh, how many hours of work that they've been assigned from a plan point of view, the capability to, uh, to uh, see what's been completed based on the planned man hours versus the actual man hours and their percentage complete uh, in the overall picture uh, from a dashboard perspective. You can also run reports uh, that's going to give you that information uh, on a work package or a construction work package basis. You can pick which contractors and which uh, associated contracts you want to see the reports for uh, and execute those uh, reports to PDF or to Excel uh, for further ma manipulation. So uh, Smart Plant Construction will support both a, a direct hire uh, type of a strategy uh, from a construction point of view or uh, in a construction management philosophy where we've got multiple contracts and contractors. Uh, thank you for your attention.